Welcome to the Simple Truth Hour. My name is Pastor Samuel Sumwa Asante, and we go into the Word of God, which teaches us, corrects and rebukes us, instructs us in the way of righteousness, so that the child of God will be perfect, truly furnished unto every good word. Our topic for today is be certain about Jesus' Messiah, part two. And our case scripture is John chapter 6, verse 69. And we believe and are sure that thou art that Christ, the Son of the living God. The above topic of discussion is very important for every child of God to grasp very well. You must be fully certain and settled in your heart that Jesus is the Messiah. The first point from the scripture that announces the messiahship of Jesus Christ is the law and the prophets. The law and the prophets refer to the Old Testament as a whole. John 1, 45. Philip, finding Nathaniel, and said unto him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. In Deuteronomy 18, 15, 16, and 18, Moses spoke about the prophet whom God raised in the later years after his era. He was referring to Jesus according to Acts chapter 3, verse 32. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. Bible scholars say there are about 300 prophecies in the Old Testament concerning our Lord Jesus Christ. Space will not permit me to list most of them, but let's take a few striking ones. Micah 5 2. But thou, Bethlehem, Ephrata, Though thou be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come forth unto me, that is, to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth have been from of old, from everlasting. You may read Psalm 22, verse 13 to 18, Isaiah 7, 14, Isaiah 9, 6, and Isaiah 53 and many, many more. The Lord himself made statements and did things that revealed he is the Messiah. One, his virgin birth, Matthew 1, 18 to 22. Two, some confessions he made about himself. John 14, 6, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. He also said in John chapter 6, verse 54, that whoso eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. In Matthew 26, 28, he said, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is said for many for the remission of sins. Three, his resurrection from the dead. Revelation 1, 18. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And of the keys of hell and of death. He also proved to Thomas that he died and was indeed alive. John 20, 27. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and trust it into my sight. And be not faithless, but believing. Finally, we look at his power to transform lives and set the oppressed free. All that has been said above will mean nothing if it has not been translated into bringing peace, changing lives, and blessing humanity in diverse ways. It is an undeniable truth that the Christian message has brought great positive changes and blessing to millions of people across the earth. There is the evidence of countless number of people with incurable death-bound diseases who have been healed by the power of God. 
through the good news. All communities have been transformed through the preaching of the gospel. Jesus is indeed the Messiah. Christianity remains the world's most populous faith on earth today. Europe and the United States of America was founded fundamentally by the precepts of Christ Church. Just consider the flags of some European nations. A number of them come with the cross on it. Nations like Great Britain, Denmark, Sweden, Switzerland, Norway, Greece, Finland have the cross on them. It is a fact that most of these nations are now turning against Christianity anyway. Yet this was also prophesied to come to pass in the last days. Jesus is the Messiah. Until a man surrenders to him, he is lost in his sins. Now thought, Jesus is the answer. Jesus is the answer. Further study, First Peter 2, 6. Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Psalm 22, verse 18. They part my garments among them and cut lots upon my vesture. Amen. We thank God for his word to us today. And I pray that the spirit of truth shall continue to enlighten you and bring this thing to clear understanding to you in the name of the Lord Jesus. May your faith be strong in him and be well established to serve him all the days of your life till we meet the Lord in glory. God richly bless you. Amen.